This call may be monitored and recorded. Don Hummer recruiting. This is Ryan. Hey, Ryan. How's it going today? Good. How about you? I am fine. I am fine. Uh, you are a recruiter, right? I am. How can I help you? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm in a Facebook group, and we was talking about different companies out here, and, and Don Hummer came up. Uh, came up in our conversation, so I thought I'd give you guys a call to see what you guys is about, man. Um, okay. You mind if I ask you ask you a couple of questions about the company? Yeah, who am I speaking with? Sean. You said Sean? Yes. Okay, yeah. What kind of questions you got, Sean? All right, cool, cool. Uh, do you guys offer CDL training for drivers that don't have CDLs? No. Oh, okay. So what's what's the what's the experience that we need to come into the company? Six months of recent experience with one company. Oh, okay, okay. So no particular job jumping or nothing like that. If I have like five jobs within the six months, y'all wouldn't look at me. Correct. We need to see six months with one over the road employer. Okay. What's the what's I'm out of Ohio, so what's the higher areas? What what are other higher areas? So majority of Ohio we hire in. We hire the majority of the 48, mm -hmm. um, and our drivers stay out 12 nights in their home every other weekend. Oh, every other week. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Uh, so where's the so where's the main terminal located at? Homestead, Iowa. Iowa. Mm -hmm. All right. So for orientation, how would you get me up there? And please don't tell me great now. Orientation. We rent you a car and we bring you out here to Iowa. Oh, okay, okay, cool. All right. Uh, for pre-employment, right? So for pre-employment, do I need do I need to take my uh, drug testing and all my all my other good stuff that I need before orientation, or is all that doing during orientation? Yep, drug test is completed before you head our way. Oh, okay, okay. So what kind of sign-on bonuses that you guys offer? And how is it we paid out? We don't do sign-on bonuses because it allows drivers to switch from company to company. We're not after those. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Do you guys do uh, hair hair follicles or urine? It's urine. Oh, it's urine. All right. What about what about uh, guys with uh, felonies and DWIs and DUIs? Uh, felonies are handled by case-by-case -case scenarios, and, and DUI is five years or older. Oh, okay, okay. Um, being that I got my medical card already, do I have to come in and do another uh, do another update for my medical card, or can I use it? Just one? it just would depend. Um, safety would have to um, take a look at your medical card, and they'd make a decision at that time. Okay, okay. So being that we out in Iowa, man, it's cold up there, bro. <laughs> do we get paid for the for the orientation? Yep, it varies, and we go over that once an applicant has put in their um, application after we see their experience. Okay, so for a driver that got like less than less than a year, six months, they they gonna go out with a with one of you guys trainers. How how long is the training period for that? Well, training only exists if you live in the state of Iowa, Illinois, or Nebraska. If you live in Ohio, we don't train. Oh, uh, okay. Even, even, even with, even with me having six months. I mean, I got more. But no. I'm just so basically, saying. you would come and you would. If you have six months of recent over the road experience with mm -hmm. one employer, mm -hmm. if you come and you fail the road test, we would send you home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we don't. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Do you guys uh, offer teams there? We do, but you have to come here with a teammate in mind already. Oh, okay, so y'all y'all don't match us or nothing like that. If Correct. We, if we want to drive team, what's the uh, what's the CPM? What's the starting CPM there? I'm a four Excuse year. Me? What's the starting CPM there? I'm a four year driver. It, it's anywhere between forty two and forty seven cents a mile. Oh, okay, and that and that depends on our my uh, experience level, right? Yep, it depends on verifiable experience. Oh, okay, okay. You guys offer pay advances? Because when I come there, I'm going to probably be broke. So we offer advances up to $25 a day as long as you're driving. Oh, okay, okay. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? It's Yes, it's mandatory and it's $0.12 cents of the pay. Oh, $0.12 cents of the pay. So my so 
technically my base pay will probably be somewhere around in the thirties and then the per diem mm-hmm. will be will be twelve cent of that, right? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh what about the what about the basic package, man? Do you guys offer holidays, uh vacation? We don't do any vacation or anything like that. Um we ask if you wanna take home time, we ask that you run and the equivalent is if you want to go out for if you want to go home for a week, you go run for a month, and then you get to go home for a week. So we have a home time on your time policy. We just ask that you don't abuse it. Oh, okay. What's what's how long I could stay out for my home time? Well, we'll do I get like emergency purposes and stuff like that though, right? If there's an emergency, we can get you home. Oh, okay, okay. What about uh what about the other packages like breakdown pay, detention pay, stop pay? We have two hundred dollars breakdown pay, one hundred and fifty dollars layover pay, and twenty dollars an hour after your second hour for detention pay. Okay, uh, what other what other benefits do you guys offer? At the end of sixty days, we have a full dental, medical, vision, and four hundred one k insurance. Is it is it company paid or do I got to pay that? And how much out of my you have to pay it out of pocket? All right, I'm a single. Uh, I'm I'm a single uh, family, so how much would it just be for me? It'd be anywhere from forty to seventy bucks a week, depending oh. on what you pick. Oh, okay, okay. You guys require hazmat? No. All right. What type of freight? Uh, what type of freight we going we will be hauling? It's eighty percent dry, twenty percent reefer. Oh, okay. So yeah, reefer. Jeez. Don't. Light reefer. <laughs> the wait time for it at a at a shipper. Oh my god, it's painful. How many how many miles I can average a week there? Twenty seven hundred to thirty one hundred a week. Oh okay, all right, all right. So all all of course all the miles is paid. Mm-hmm. All right. Some some companies have an idle policy. Do you do you guys have an idle policy? We let our drivers idle the truck as long as they need to stay cooler, cool or warm. We won't call you to tell you to stop idling the truck. All right, I appreciate that. Uh, what about reimbursement for like scale tolls and and truck parking? If you have to pay any of those out of pocket, we will reimburse you, including truck parking. Yes. Awesome. That's about the best I heard so far. Uh, all right, so we already went over the uh, home time policy and stuff like that. Um, pet and rider policy? Yep, pet policy is up to a dog, up to one dog, up to 40 pounds, a $500 non-refundable deposit. Mm-hmm. Rider policy kicks in after 90 days. All right. What about a forced dispatch into uh, NYC or Cali? We don't go into New York City. We do go to Cali. Okay, so if a driver choose not to go there, would he still be forced to go there? Of course. If you don't want to just go to Cali, I don't see an issue. But if you want to start picking and choose what states, we wouldn't be the good company for you. Oh, okay, okay. So if I if if I'm with the company, you know, I'm already on board driving, and let's just say the marriage between us is not all that hot no more. Uh, what would be the policy for me to turn into truck? I couldn't understand. What was that question? I said, uh, what would be the policy to turn it, to turn into truck if I decide that the marriage between us is not all that hot no more? If you wanted to quit, what's the policy of quitting? I'm not understanding your question. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, yeah, what is, the, what is the policy of turning into truck? You would turn the truck into one of the terminals, and you would clear out the truck, and then you would find your way home. Oh, okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, what kind of equipment? What kind of equipment you guys offer? Kenworth International, Peterbilt, and Volvo, and it's all 2017 and newer. Are they uh, manuals or tents or or automatics? They're heavy on the automatic side, and we have some manuals as well. So we can choose which one we want to drive, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. So the only the only divisions that you guys offer uh, that you mentioned early is just reefer and drive-in. Do you guys offer any other divisions? No other divisions, and it's non-negotiable. It's dry and reefer. Oh, okay. so it's not just one or the two. It's luck of the draw. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we will pull either or trailer then. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so when I come on, I I would be a over the road driver. Do you guys have any like uh, like regional lanes, dedicated lanes? 
No, it's just strictly over the road. Strictly over the road. Okay. What about uh, what about driver cams inside of the trucks? They're outward facing, not inward. Oh, okay. Uh, what about the amenities? What what are the amenities in the truck? They have a refrigerator in them. They have a 1500 watt inverter, and then they have a place to mount a TV and Sirius XM satellite radio. Well, that sounds like we're going to be comfortable. That's what I like. Man, I like that. And last but not least, man, what's what's the truck governing that? 68 miles an hour. 68. All right. Uh, do you guys offer offer lease? Do you you guys have no. leasing there? Okay. Nope, just strictly company drivers. All right. Cool. Cool. You think uh, you think any anything else that I haven't uh, that I haven't answered that I mean ask you that you can probably. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, you you covered all the bases, sir. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, thank you very much, very much. What's your name again? My name is Ryan. Ryan, man, thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, no problem. Sir. Uh, like I said, if if anybody else, you know, like I said, I'm going to take this with me over to um over to the Facebook group, and if anybody is interested in it, I'll definitely pass your name your name along to All right. Sounds good. I appreciate your time, Sean. All right. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. Thank you.